seriously, a wolfsbane plays Earthbound. Wolf sacrifices a small dog to our Darth Lord Satan for increasing psychic power. It's Thursday again, so you know what that means. Time for some more Earthbound. So yeah, going up on our uh, first boss fight. I can't help but think, like, imagine if we had dialogue like this in, you know, totally serious movies. Like, if you're watching Dracula or something, and it's the scene where, um, spoiler alert everybody, Abraham Van Helsing, uh, kills Dracula, and just, <laughs> just, like, hammers the, the stake through his heart with a line like, I'll stomp you hard. Like, you just completely t stop taking it seriously right then and there. Yeah, my little buddy's protecting me! From PSI Fire Alpha. Charge forward. Damn! 150 HP, that's pretty strong for a bee from outer space. How many different pow- wait, okay, so how many different powers does this, uh, this Starman Jr. have, and why does the Starman Jr. never appear again during, like, the entire game? It just seems a little odd to me. Like, it, it just, it's just one of those enemies that you just expect to appear at some point in the game as just, like, another common enemy, you know? first encounter with an alien, uh, it's kind of weird how, like, you know, aliens are all in this game, but only, like, on the, uh, on the intro, does it ever seem to make, like, headlines or anything. Like, people, like, people, for the most part, like, they kind of stay calm throughout the entire, like, attempted alien invasion. Animals are also getting violent. Yeah, but you didn't include plants either. That might have been a fair warning that plants would somehow would somehow also want to kill me. But why would plants come up and try to kill me if like they don't have brains? Like like clearly Gaius, the main boss in this, like is trying to you know, mind, it's trying to use mind control in, you know, in order to kill me, so that way I don't stop the master plan. And yet, plants don't have, don't really have minds, so how exactly are they being mind controlled? You've loaned your father a lot of money and maybe a hundred thousand dollars or more? Why would you do that? We now live in poverty, well... Don't take it out on me that you're terrible with money. It's not my fault. I mean, again, if you are living in poverty, it's not really a good decision. <gasps> you fat bitch. <sighs> you killed my little buddy. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna find out where you live, and then I'm, I'm gonna come to your bedroom in the middle of the night and I'm gonna cut you, motherfucker. I don't care. I will avenge my fallen comrade. Must unite your power with the Earths by collecting melodies. Okay. One of them is near on it. It's called Giant Step. Yes, I'm not going to make you repeat the story. You're kind of dying. That would be a total dick move on my part. I want to give you something. It is a dramatic death scene. <sighs> it is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost one more. I, I'm not. I'm not that much of a dick. I'm not going to make you tell me the story again. Yay! Soundstone! Now I can collect and record melodies in order to kill a... 
an alien army that's trying to probably destroy the Earth. God, it's a good thing I don't have school today. But I've made that remark in my last video. This is kind of a, this is kind of, kind of a weird job here, like, like, basically getting paid to beat up small animals, like, how exactly does your dad keep track of this? Does he have some kind of, a, an advanced mass surveillance system? Is my dad big brother? <sighs> big brother is watching you. Kids can borrow only maps of this library? Well, that's kind of shitty. Like, why can't I borrow books? I know that, you know, kids can definitely, definitely be little shits and whatnot, but... I don't know, I think... My, at least my parents would hopefully be responsible enough to get on my case if I haven't returned a library book in a while. Uh, you know what's cool about this? Check this out. I can eat out of the garbage. Whatever, whatever. I do what I want. Hey, I mean, I'm not being accompanied by an adult or anything, so they can't really tell me not to do that. And I'm walking past the stop sign in the middle of the sidewalk. Sounds kind of American to me, but um, I actually heard that part of the reason why um, you know, Nintendo was just so reluctant about this game is uh, because of how like it, it was perceived as such an accurate portrayal and satire of America during the 90s that they're just like, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. buy a... Not sure why you'd want to buy a, a very damaged baseball bat, but hey, I'm not complaining or anything. Most defense changed from 3 to 8. Yep, we starched this cap uh, about 50 times before putting it up on the shelves for people to buy. What do I need next? 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 Uh, food! Here we go. May I take your order? Smile, smile. Oh, that is so phony. That is so phony. There is no way you're happy to be here. You're working at a minimum wage, probably minimum wage, a pretty pretty terrible job where you have to deal with everybody's shit. There's no way you're happy about that. At least be honest about it. I mean, it kind of reminds me of uh, whenever I used to work at this deli, like, well over a year ago. And the boss, like the, like the department manager there, she would just, like, start rambling about how people really just show up and just want to work for, like, a paycheck. It, I mean, come on, at least, if you don't own the business, like, that sort of thing is, that should be what you expect. I mean, there's, there, I honestly don't see any other reason to have a passion for, I don't know, cutting cheese and bologna and whatnot. It just doesn't exist. But yeah, like, that, that, that job was definitely driving me up a fucking wall. I'm so happy I quit. But then, things actually sort of turned for the worse, like, financially speaking. Because, um, of my next job, I decided to try and be a waiter at a restaurant in, like, a, in, like, a little mall shopping area. Yeah, it was the kind of place where, um, 
they didn't, like, tell you your schedule to an extent. Like, you know how whenever they would post a schedule up, it would always be, you know, from a certain hour to another certain hour. No, what this place did, they told you, hey, come in at a certain time, and then they just let you go on a whim. Like, even if you're really good at your job, if it's not busy or something, and you really need the hours, like, they don't care. They'll tell you, look, go home. We don't want you. And it got to the point to where, like, I was actually just losing money by going there. Alrighty. And, uh, that, I'm gonna call it an episode. Alright. Until next time.